We are back for another look on this beautiful segment we do at the end of every Dr. Duke show called Instant Classics, where we try to balance out the fake education, like the stories we said today, all the lies coming down from academic officials, with a little bit of truth. And so we take a look at the sublime. Uh, in, a, in the dark times that we live, with everybody trying to institute more and more control on your movements, on what you can and can't do, about what you're, a, what you're able or not able to wear on your own face, we want us to consider the great painters of the 19th century, uh, the sublime, so-called sublime painters, and friends. Frederick Edwin Church is our study for this week. This is a beautiful picture, early 1861, called Cotopaxi. It is a mountain range in South America, in Ecuador, and you get a beautiful sense there of the mountain and the forest, the rainforest. You get a river running through it, and you get just a really gorgeous landscape. This really does conform to all the, it checks all the boxes you would want checked if you're looking at a truly sublime painting. Cotopaxi is an 1861, 1862 oil painting by the Hudson River School artist we've been studying all week, Frederick Edwin Church. The Hud Hudson River School is exactly what you would imagine. A number of Midwestern painters uh, vaguely allied with the region of the Great Lakes moving west or moving to South America or moving shortly to the Arctic to take the kind of uh, to notes and the drawings to produce the kind of paintings that these great uh, sublime artists were painting. The work was commissioned by well-known philanthropi philanthropist James Lennox. The painting was met with great acclaim uh, and seen as a parable of the Civil War, which was then raging against the South with, with its casting of the light against the darkness, the, the light of the setting or rising sun, the haze of the dark clouds that hang above the rainforest and hang even higher on the mountains of Cotopaxi. And then you've got the idea of good and evil, the dark and the light, the, in this case, the north versus the south, and how all that fit together. The painting depicts Cotopaxi, a volcano, actually, that is also the second highest peak in modern-day Ecuador, spewing smoke and ash across a sunrise. Church also painted another landscape by the same name, so that also features the volcano in the distance. And so we know that that darkness is, is volcanic La ash and lava, and in the, you can see the golden yellow heat of that mountain, that volcano, as it spews forth its contagion and over this beautiful uh, mossy scene, this beautiful rainforest scene that we have there in Ecuador. And so there's a lot to recommend itself. If you want to look at what the, if you want to tick your boxes, okay, what does a sublime painter, painting consist of? This one pretty much t checks most of those boxes.